Hey guys! So, as you may notice, I'm in a different room than I was the last time I vlogged. Yay! Because uh, that means that my carpet finally got replaced. <laughs> so yes, I have new carpet in the whole apartment. They did the closets and the hallway and everything. I didn't realize they were going to do the hallway closet. But they did, and they had to move my dirty laundry, so that was really fun. Yes, I love strangers coming into my apartment and moving my dirty laundry basket with my dirty underwear all in it. So since the carpet was finally finished, I was able to go to the storage unit and get all of my crap out of there before September 1st. So um, as you can probably see behind me, I have my bookshelves that used to be in my other videos. Uh, so yeah, I've got those back there. I don't have anything on them yet, but I thought that since today is read a book day that I would show you some of the books that I have. It may be really boring. I may not show you all of them because half of them I haven't read. I will start off with, first of all, the book that I am reading currently. So this is the book that I'm reading currently. It is The Martian. I've never read it before, but I have watched the movie, so I kind of know what is happening, but uh, it's really good. It's so much better than I thought it was gonna be. I have laughed so much and uh, it's, it's really fun. I spent most of Labor Day reading this. I mean, basically I read half of it on Labor Day. So uh, yeah, I've got to finish this up, but as soon as I finish it, it's going on the shelf over there. So uh, I just got that one a couple of weeks ago. I didn't realize it, but there's a used bookstore like two blocks away from where I live. So I got a couple of books there and uh, I guess I can show you some of the other ones that I got while I was book shopping at the used bookstore. So I got Inkheart. I don't think I've ever read Inkheart, but I have seen the movie. Why do I always see the movie and then get the books? This happens all the time. It happened with Harry Potter too, and Lord of the Rings, and Game of Thrones, but it was a TV show, and True Blood, and okay, yeah, um, apparently I read the books after I've watched a movie or a television show that they're based on. So yes, uh, Inkheart. I've already watched the movie. I don't remember anything about it other than Brendan Fraser was in it, but um, I think I kind of liked it. So I'm going to give the book a try. Plus it was only like four bucks. So yeah. I also got two um, Jane Austen type books. I guess you would call them that. Anyway, um, I got Letters from Pemberley. That is uh, the Letters from Pemberley, the first year, a continuation of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, of course. I do like Pride and Prejudice. I do like, well, pretty much all of Jane Austen's books. Uh, not so much Mansfield Park. That's probably my least favorite. But uh, yeah, I got this because it looked interesting. So I may have already read it, but I guess I'm going to find out when I read it again. And I got Death Comes to Pemberley, which is another Jane Austen type thing um, based on Pride and Prejudice, of course, and um, it takes place like 10 years after the end of Pride and Prejudice, and there's a death at Pemberley, <laughs> obviously. So also while I was there at the used bookstore, I picked up Storm of Swords and A Feast for Crows because I have, well, I've read A Storm of Swords before, but I haven't read A Feast for Crows yet, and I want to reread all of the Song of Ice and Fire books, so I picked up these two because these were the only two that they had, and um, then I went ahead and went to thriftbooks.com. If you've never heard of it, you can get really cheap books there and um, they send them to you directly to your house. And it's pretty cool. And if you buy more than $10 worth, I think, they will ship for free in the US. So um, yeah, I got these two at the bookstore. And then I went ahead and picked up A Game of Thrones from thriftbooks and another one from thriftbooks that hasn't shown up yet. Uh, it said it was delivered, but it wasn't delivered, so I may have to um, figure out what's going on with that. And then since Thrift Books didn't have a really cheap copy of A Dance with Dragons, I went ahead and picked this up from Amazon for like five bucks, something like that, so not too bad at all. So yeah, I'm trying to get all of my Song of Ice and Fire books, and I'm just missing A Clash of Kings. So uh, yeah, book number two. And since I said at Thrift Books, if you buy 10 bucks worth, you get free shipping. I wanted my free shipping. So I went ahead and picked up two of the His Dark Materials books. So I picked up the Golden Compass and the Amber Spyglass because I had already picked up the Subtle Knife at the, um, at another bookstore in town because, uh, they have a bookstore that is attached to our public library. So you can go get old library books that are no longer on the shelves. They sell them there for cheap and I got the Subtle Knife for 50 cents. So yeah, pretty
pretty good deal. So yeah, those are my newest books that I have to put on my bookshelf. And then of course I have the oldies book goodies, all of my Harry Potter books. So I have them all in a box along with the casual vacancy because I have that one also and um, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I have that one also. So all of those will go together on my bookshelf. And of course I have another <laughs> Jane Austen kind of thing. This is Austen Land by Shannon Hale and it is the book that the movie Austen Land was based on and I really like the book and the movie so I have both of them. And while I was going through several boxes of books I also found um, some interesting things like my To the Moon script written by Penny Starr. So this is the script for Starlet 20's uh, version of To the Moon that she was doing for her class and she still has not finished it but I did the voice of Eva. So um, I have all of my lines highlighted and everything in here and this was what I used to do my voice acting stuff. So it's, it's really big. It's like 90 pages long. Also as I was looking through my books and stuff I found some sheet music. So I have sheet music for Everything's Alright from To The Moon and I think I have another To The Moon song in here and maybe another thing or two and um, another song or two. But yeah, this is my sheet music for my keyboard. Um, you guys have never seen my keyboard and you may have never heard me play it because I don't play it very often. But um, I don't have any batteries in it and I don't have the adapter, the power cable for it. I don't know where it is. So if I can ever find it, Maybe you guys will see it one day, but I will not guarantee that I will play anything. And if I do, I will definitely not guarantee that it will be good because I never took formal lessons or not really. I took them like, I had like two or three piano lessons. That's not really enough. I play mostly by ear, but I do have some sheet music just in case I ever want to pick it up and give it a try. Also to go along with my Harry Potter books, I have the Hogwarts Library, which has Quidditch through the ages, uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and The Tales of Beetle the Bard. So uh, yeah, I have all of these in a nice little convenient thing. See, isn't it really cute? I think it's cute. Okay, so what else do we have? We have Movies in 15 Minutes by Cleo Linda Jones. If you don't know who this is, you should look her up. She is from Birmingham, Alabama, which is not too far from where I live. And um, she used to do a lot of stuff on LiveJournal. I don't know what she does nowadays. I used to follow her on Twitter. Um, she participates, or at least used to participate in this podcast called Made of Fail, which I um, tried to keep up with and they just, <laughs> they came out with so many and I missed a bunch and uh, yeah, but she does like funny, um, funny versions of movies in 15 minutes. So it's really quick reads and I thought they were, I always thought they were funny. You can find some of her stuff on her live journal page, which is like cleolinda.livejournal.com, I think, something like that. And um, she has several of the movies in 15 minutes on her uh, live journal. And I used to read those all the time. She also did something called The Secret Life of Dolls, where she had a bunch of different dolls from like Lord of the Rings and Twilight and things like that. And it was really interesting. Um, I always thought it was really funny. So if you want to go check that out, you should. It's pretty cool. And of course I have Tolkien's World from A to Z, The Complete Guide to Middle Earth, which is something I got for Christmas from Kevin. And I have never really looked all the way through it, but it's basically um, whatever you, it's kind of like an index of um, every person, place, thing <laughs> from uh, The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, all of Tolkien's kind of stuff. So um, yeah, every character, every place and everything. Look at that. So like you're looking for a specific star or a specific food, it's probably in this book and it will tell you where to find it in the other books. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff. And now we have a huge stack of books that I've never read. Actually, some of these I have read because we have, eh, it's a very large tower of books. We have Dan Brown's Angels and Demons, which I have read because I read The Da Vinci Code first and enjoyed it. So I got uh, Angels and Demons for really cheap somewhere. I don't remember where, but I read it and I loved it. I actually really like Angels and Demons uh, a lot better than The Da Vinci Code and Solomon Key and Inferno. I think that's all of them. Um, yeah, so I, I really liked Angels and Demons. It was my favorite one. And uh, so, yeah, that's plus it takes place in Rome and I have been to Rome. I should like Inferno a lot more because I've been to Florence also and that's where it takes place. But um, yeah, this one was the one that really got me into it. So uh, yeah, I went to lots of the places that were talked about in this book. So I really enjoyed that, especially since I read it not too long after I came back from those places. So yeah, Angels and Demons, really cool book. I liked it a lot. I have The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. 
by Arthur Conan Doyle, of course, and um, it is complete and unabridged, it says, but that doesn't seem like there's a lot of stuff in here. And I have not read this. <laughs> I know I've read, like, one or two Sherlock Holmes stories, because I know I've read The Hound of the Baskervilles, but uh, yeah, I haven't read, I think I may have read, like, one of the stories in here. Whoops. I have Ready Player One, which I also have never read, and I should, because I've heard it's really good. So maybe this one will be the book that I read after I finish reading The Martian, because, uh, yeah, I think that might be a good idea. So I think I'll put it not on my bookshelf, but put it somewhere so that I can read it next. But I've heard it's really awesome. They're making a movie out of it, and I think Spielberg is directing or involved somehow. I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, I have not read it. I got it from a loot crate, and I still have not read it. I have The Lovely Bones. I know there's a movie version of this. I have not seen the movie version. I have also never read the novel. But if I ever want to, it's here. I have Timeline by Michael Crichton, which I have also never read. I have a lot of books I've never read. <laughs> I always wanted to read it, though, because it looked really good. So, And I've read Jurassic Park, like, a long time ago, like, back when the movie came out the first time. So yeah, I've I've read Jurassic Park, I've just never read Timeline, but I have it if I want to read it. I have some book by Janet Lee called House of Destiny. I don't know, it's about Hollywood, I think. I have something called The Magdalene Cipher, which sounds kind of like The Da Vinci Code, so it looked interesting. I'll probably read it eventually, don't know when. We've got The Luncheon of the Boating Party, which is based on a painting by Renoir. I don't really know what it's about, but it had a pretty cover. And I like art history, so um, I'll read it sometime, maybe. I have some book called Before Ever After. I've never read it. I won it. I won it in a drawing thing at goodreads.com, and I've never read it. I was supposed to read it and review it because <laughs> it was an advanced copy, but I didn't. I'm guessing it's probably pretty good, but I don't know. <laughs> I have something called The X-Files. It's a romance, I think. I'm guessing. And then I got a bunch of these. I call these bodice rippers because basically that's what they are. Because um, <laughs> it's like historical romance. And I, I, liked, I like historical romances. I'm sorry. Is that... Do you have a problem with that? I hope not, because if you do, too bad. I also have some books that are apparently missing. I believe I have a book somewhere that is by Garrison Keillor. I cannot remember what the name of it is, but I know I have a Garrison Keillor book. I also have The Princess Bride, and I have no idea what has happened to it, and I really wanted to read it again, and I'm kind of pissed off that I can't find it because I'd like to read it again. Um, yeah. So, The Princess Bride, where the heck did you go? Oh, wait! <laughs> Cares and Keeler. Pontoon. That's, that's the one I have. Um, it was two bucks. I got it for two bucks. I haven't read it. Oh, look! More bodice rippers! <laughs> Ola and the Sea Wolf, Looking for Love, and The Call of the Highlands. Okay, so what other books do I have? I have coloring books. Um, so I have a 400 pages of coloring fun Star Wars um, coloring book. Includes galactic size activities, guys. I mean, come on. Power of the Empire. It's got tear and share pages. Look at this. I haven't done anything in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's all like prequel stuff too, it looks like. Ew. No wonder I didn't do any of those. I also have a Wally, a Wally coloring book, which I also have not colored anything in because I love coloring books, but I never color them. I have Tolkien's World, a fantasy coloring book, just like an adult coloring book. And once again, have not colored any of it. And then of course I have my Disney princesses, um, art therapy, one hum, 100 Images to Inspire Creativity and Relaxation, and I have not colored any of these pages either, um, but they're too pretty to color. They're so pretty the way they are. I would feel bad. What else did I find? I have um, a notebook. Some of you may recognize this notebook. This is the notebook that I took with me to Italy and wrote down all of my adventures when I was in Italy. If you have never seen my Italy vlogs, I have them somewhere on my channel. Um, they are from 2014. You can look them up. Uh, it's just called Italy Vlog. There are like five of them, and I tell stories about when I went to Italy back in 2004 and studied art history and Italian there, and I stayed with the host family. Some of the uh, stories are pretty funny. Um, there's one where uh, 
I was in the middle of Rome and my skirt flew up and everybody saw my panties. So yay, you get to see, you get to hear fun stuff like that if you watch my Italy vlogs. So yeah, um, things like that, that is all in here. I wrote so much. I wrote like 70 pages worth of stuff in Italy and most of it is about the food because I was just... Ugh. I just love the food there, apparently. So yeah, all of that is in here. And there are some other things that are in here too because back, I don't know when it was, probably 2000, maybe 2004. I, I don't know, I don't know exactly when. But sometime when I was in college, I decided that I was going to do a year of poetry, quotes, and other writings. Some of my own design and others not is what I titled it, I don't know. Um, so it starts off January 1st and I have a quote from J.R.R. Tolkien which is, books are besieged by a great many embattled enemies, but from them comes the food of the mind. It is not good for the stomach to be without food for a long period, and it is very much worse for the mind. And then I have poetry that I wrote that is really bad, and I would never want anyone to see it. Uh, so you guys will not see it. And um, yeah, this is from my uh, senior year of high school. Hilltop Echoes, because th that is what we called our yearbook. It was called Hilltop Echoes. We were bulldogs. 2001 is when I graduated from high school. That lets you know how old I am if you have ever wondered. Also, if you have ever wondered, I, I'm 33. I'm almost 34. I will be 34 on September 16th of this year. If you want to wish me a happy birthday on my birthday, September 16th, it is a Saturday. You can follow me on Twitter and you can send me a, a happy birthday on there or on Discord if you happen to be friends with me on there or on Kick if you happen to be friends with me on there or on Facebook if you happen to be friends with me on there or, you know, whatever. <laughs> you don't have to. It'd be really nice if you did, though. I was voted shyest in the senior class. <laughs> yep. Yep. I wasn't in my senior yearbook very much. You guys know how I've told you that I really like the Broadway show Wicked? Well, um, I have the Wicked Grimmery. So this is like the behind the scenes look at the hit Broadway musical. It's huge. It doesn't fit very well on any bookshelf that I own, but I have it. So, yep, it's got like all kinds of stuff in here. I mean, look at this. It's like all kinds of behind the scenes stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. So much. I mean, it has the whole freaking play in here. So along with all of those books that I have already talked about, I also have Several comic books, um, well, more graphic novels, whatever you want to call them. I'll just show you. I have fables, so I have almost the complete series of fables. I'm missing the last few, and I can't remember when it stopped, but um, there are a few of them that I don't have. I think it may be like two or three that I don't have to finish the complete set, so I need to get those. I also have Jack of Fables, which is a spinoff of fables. I have the complete series of those. Another spinoff of Fables is Fairest. I have two issues of Fairest, um, or I say issues, but it's two of the um, volumes of Fairest, and I don't know how many of them, I don't know how many of them there are, and I don't know if it's even still going, and I don't think I've even read the ones that I have. I should probably read them sometime. Along with that, I have a Serenity, uh, Those Left Behind comic book. So yeah, if you really like uh, Firefly, then you might want to check this out at some point. I want to say that it takes place between um, the end of the series and before the uh, movie Serenity. And the last comic book I have is Rex Libris and it is I Librarian. It is about a librarian who is special agent kind of thing. I don't know exactly what you'd call it, but yes, um, I'm pretty sure that there are only two volumes of this and I do not have the second volume. Um, but yeah, it's Kind of interesting, I got it because it's about a kick-ass librarian, so why not? So I'm pretty sure that those are all of the books that I have. The thing is, I also have some other books that, um, <laughs> that I had with those. And, um, yeah, I guess I can show you what they are. The first one I will show you is this one because it is the first one of the series. <laughs> it is my very first diary. It's really small. <laughs> I mean, it's teeny tiny. Look at this. It's like, my god. Um, it's really tiny. It has diary on the front. It actually has a little place for a key. Um, the key is probably long gone, but it doesn't really matter because um, the key never really worked that well in the first place. You, can, you can't really tell right here from the lock, but it is locked right now, and yeah, it just comes right open. <laughs> 
pretty sure my mom probably read this when I was younger, but oh well. Um, so <laughs> I got this um, for Christmas 1993. So the very first entry in here is for Saturday, January 1st, 1994. It's really intriguing stuff. <laughs> wow, we watched a movie. <laughs> We watched the Rose Parade. Oh my gosh. So yeah, it's not very interesting, but it started on, like I said, January 1st, 1994, and it ends on, oh boy, um, I, I didn't write in it for a long time, and then I started back up, and it ends in, wait a minute, <laughs> I kept this till 2007? <laughs> That's insane! How? I didn't write a lot in it when I was younger, apparently. I thought I wrote more in it when I was younger, but I didn't. I started in 94. I wrote a little bit in January of 94. Okay, and then this is where it gets into like my eighth grade year. Um, so I was really young. I was very boy crazy. I really liked this one guy named Lyle. He was, I don't know why. He was disgusting when I think about it. <laughs> This is also back in the day when instead of putting periods and um, stuff like that, I put circles, little tiny circles. At least it wasn't hearts. Um, this goes through my high school days of when I really liked the high school quarterback. This goes through, oh my gosh, um, wow, okay. I just opened a page and it is about the school shooting in Columbine. Okay, so I wrote about that first classes of freshman year in college so this goes all the way through college because there's i see a name of a guy that i liked in college yep so in one of my minecraft videos it was in the decameron video i was talking about the spring break that i had my first kiss and i would not be surprised if it is in here okay maybe not because i think i've figured out what happened i didn't have this i think that um for a while I wrote in a different diary. Pretty sure that's what happened. I wrote in a different diary because I got a new one and I wrote in it. And then I came back to this one once I finished the other one and finished up this one and then started on a new one, maybe? I don't know, because I've got stuff from like 2006, but I don't have anything from like before that. There's like a gap between 2002 and 2006. So there must be another one that that, um, that, that was written down in. Okay, so I guess I didn't write a lot in 2004, but I've just found one. This one, this pretty one right here, that starts in 2005. So I'm gonna read you a passage from this because if you have um, if you have watched that episode, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So anyway, um, so I wrote in here. I went on my first spring break trip this year with Katie to Panama City Beach. While there, I had two guys ask to kiss me. A relief. I'm not a leper after all. <laughs> and kissed one of them, my first kiss. It's funny that I chose the one younger than myself to be my first kiss. Okay, that's kind of funny. A couple of paragraphs later I have. It seems that all of my old friends are either married or engaged. If not that, at least most of them have steady boyfriends. I can't even seem to get a date. I mean, it took 21 years to get a kiss. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this has all of the stuff about this one guy that I really liked. Well, actually two guys that I really liked. And the guy that stalked me. Because I had a stalker my last semester of college and yeah it was really annoying but he would always like show up where i was gonna be and freak me out so at the very beginning of this journal i was talking about getting my first kiss and all of that stuff and then finally at the very end of this in february of 2006 i got my first boyfriend my first like real boyfriend i had a boyfriend in eighth grade that doesn't really count um yeah so <laughs> go me i guess <laughs> So then when I finished this one, I picked it back up in this one and finished this in sometime in 2007, I think it was. So once I finished the other one, I started on this one. I had a Harry Potter um, journal that my mom got me and I started on it in June 2007. And this one has a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. So this is June 2007. So a lot of this is about one guy that I really liked and... Um, and this one goes to September of 2007. So I wrote a lot in 2007 and 2008. So yeah, that's this one. Um, so 2007, June to September. Then I picked up with a new Harry Potter, <laughs> Order of the Phoenix, because this is when Order of the Phoenix came out in uh, the theaters. Uh, I got a new journal that had that. A friend gave it to me, my friend Rachel. 
And um, so I wrote in it, started it September 4th, 2007, and went all the way to March 17th, 2008. So this has um, a lot of stuff in here about the guy that I liked in the last one. And um, I went to a ball with him because I went to Mardi Gras with him because he lived in Mobile. So uh, yeah, he invited me to a ball and I went and that was my very first ball and I got to dress like in a nice dress and everything and had gloves and my hair was curled and it fell down I, like all of my hair became uncurly as soon as it possibly could because it was really hot and humid and everything and uh yeah but all of that is in this so pretty cool so next up i picked up with this journal i've had so many journals guys i mean you guys have seen me get really freaking happy when I get a journal somewhere. Well, um, yeah, this one I started after that. So this one starts on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, 2008. And it ends Saturday, July 12th, 2008. A lot of stuff happened between March and July that year, including meeting Kevin for the first time. So yeah, it was the beginning of July 2008 when I first met Kevin, and I wrote about it in my diary, in my journal, and the only thing I have in the entry is, um, and some cute guy briefly talked to me. I've noticed him around the bar. He wears glasses. <laughs> that was when I met Kevin for the first time. And that's all I wrote at first in my diary. That's kind of funny. Okay, so the next time that I talked to Kevin was a week later. Because we used to have these dance nights. And they were themed dance nights. So I met him on 70s dance night. And 80s dance night, we talked again. And so I have in, in here... Um, I also talked to the cute nerdy guy I talked to last week. His name is Kevin. He added me on Facebook, but he has a girlfriend. How unfortunate. <laughs> yes, how unfortunate. So apparently I was writing this while I was at work, and um, some kid had been laughing somewhere around the desk, and so I put, that kid's laughing again. I guess I'm going to have to give him another stern look. Maybe I should do the, I've got my eyes on you motion. No, because then I'd end up laughing and defeat the whole purpose. <laughs> so this one, this plain blue one, starts on July 12th, picking up where I left off in the last journal, which is basically how I do it. So I wrote in this one all the way until September 11th, 2008. And then I picked up with this one, this nice little purple one, which ends in December 2008. I told you, I wrote so much stuff in 2007 and 2008, it's ridiculous. So there's that one. So that ends in December, and then I picked it up with this one. Oh my gosh, this one has been, like, through the ringer, it looks like. So this one starts on December 2nd, 2008, and ends on March 29th, 2009. So, that one ended March 2009, and this one starts in March 2009. And this one is huge, and this one is still not completely filled in. I stopped kind of writing in it around the time that Kevin and I got married, and then I didn't really write in it again until, um... We got divorced. <laughs> so yeah, there's like all of the stuff that happened while we were married. I didn't even write down in a journal. So um, there's a big gap. So there's a big gap between August 2010 and June 2011 where I didn't write anything. And then I wrote things for a couple of days and um, I picked it back up in 2014. So yeah, that was a long time. So I did a quick little update in 2014 where I actually talk about um, YouTube stuff, because that was after I started YouTube. And I talked about that for several pages, and then it doesn't start again until November 3rd, 2016, and we had signed the divorce papers in the end of October, so October 26th, I think, was the day that we signed the divorce papers. And yeah, so I didn't start writing in it again until then, and I only have one little teeny tiny entry that basically says, well, we got divorced and I haven't written anything else in it. So I still have about 15 pages left in this one. So I think I should probably fill those in at some point. And if I do, I have other ones that I can use to write in when I'm done because <laughs> I have at least three right here. I have this blue one, I have this weird looking one, and I have one with K on it. So yeah, I have these three, plus I have one or two that I've gotten from loot crates over the years, and I've got plenty of stuff that um, 
plenty of pages that I can fill in. I just need things to fill them in with. So who knows? Maybe I'll start writing in here. I've actually been keeping a uh, journal, but I've been doing it online. I keep it as a big file in my Google Drive. So if I ever lose that, well, I'm screwed. But uh, yeah, that is, those are my diaries, uh, my journals, all of that good stuff. <sighs> this has been an incredibly long vlog and I didn't mean for it to be. Um, yeah, but that is read a book day. <laughs> That's my stuff. Those are my books. Those are my comic books. Those are my diaries and my coloring books and notebooks and all that stuff. So um, I hope that you have enjoyed going through this and getting to kind of walk down memory lane a little bit with me. And um, I hope that you guys have read a book today because it is a read a book day, of course. So let me know if you have any favorite books or if you've read any of the ones that I have and like any of the ones that I like. And um, if you have any recommendations, give me some of those too, even though I have plenty of other ones that I need to read. This doesn't even count like the ebooks that I have. I have the whole Song of Ice and Fire series on, Kin on my Kindle. I have all of Jane Austen's works on my Kindle. I have uh, the whole Anne of Green Gables series on my Kindle. I have uh, lots of other things like I've got some other like romance kind of things. There's this program that Amazon does where you can pay like 10 bucks a month and you can go through several of their ebooks they have. It's like Kindle Unlimited, I think is what it's called. And you can read as many books as you want to. And occasionally I really get into a reading mood and I want to read everything. And um, yeah, I also read a lot of fan fiction, but I'll talk about that another time because I have a lot to say about fan fiction. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is for another time. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. I don't know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.